Welcome back to the video course Mastering Windows Server Hyper-V 2016. In the previous video, we saw managing disk and network settings. In this section, we will cover operational efficiencies, production checkpoints, and PowerShell Direct. Operation efficiency is nothing but how to improve the work performance of the virtual machine using the new Hyper-V 2016 features and benefits. In this video, we are going to take a look at production checkpoints, PowerShell Directs, Hyper-V Manager Improvements, REFS Accelerated VHDX Operations, Cross Version Management and VM Servicing and finally we will see Hypervisor Power Management and Remote FX Improvements. Production Checkpoints In this video, we are going to take a look at Production Checkpoints and finally we see the demonstration. Checkpoints are nothing but the snapshot. So when the Hyper-V version was released, we had the standard checkpoints a standard checkpoint is nothing but the vm running state as well as the disk state is saved on the hard disk in that case the issue was if there is a sql server workload which has some kind of a transaction or there is exchange server which uh, responds to a mail client in that case the running state is also captured and saved on a disk state which result in the confusion of the server in order to avoid this there are production checkpoints. In case of production checkpoints, the running state of the virtual machine is not captured, but only the disk state is captured and it is restored in a way that is completely supported for all production workloads. That is nothing but the full support for key workloads. Then it uses the function called as a VSS. Volume snapshot service is used inside the Windows virtual machine to create the production checkpoint instead of using the save state technology familiar so there is no change in the way how you create the checkpoints it is similar to the standard checkpoint only the background technology is changed when you choose out of the two options the one which is nothing but the production checkpoints in case of a linux virtual machine their file system is buffed to create a file system consistent checkpoint new virtual machine will use production checkpoints with a fallback to standard checkpoints so let us quickly see the demonstration. So in my demo, I have the Windows Server 2016 Hyper-V Manager open and then I have the Windows Server 4 where I am creating a notepad abc.txt and in this running notepad, I will write down something. So let us uh, write down as uh, you are watching a standard snapshot or a checkpoint demo. Then click on checkpoint, create a checkpoint, name it as a standard checkpoint. Click on yes. Now if you go back to the Hyper-V manager, you will see the checkpoint has been created. And in the checkpoints window. So here you can see the standard checkpoint recreated. We go to the Hyper-V settings and enable the production checkpoint. So in the production checkpoint, you can see it uses the backup technology in the guest operating system to create data consistent checkpoints that would include information about running applications. You can enable the check if you want to fall back to create a standard checkpoint. Click on apply. OK. Now I will go back to my Windows Server 2016 core environment and I will write down in the same notepad that we have enabled the production checkpoint. Now you can go to action and click on checkpoint and create a production checkpoint. And if I go back to my Hyper-V manager, you can again see the status. A subtree for the production checkpoint is created. And if you switch on this checkpoint or you apply this production checkpoint, the Hyper-V virtual machine will be back to its state without the running notepad application be captured as you can see so this is how the production checkpoint works 